Keep 100% of your claim. G4 Claims. If you've been hurt in a road accident that wasn't your fault, you should really talk to G4 Claims first. Unlike road accident solicitors, we don't charge you for our services, which could see you better off. To keep 100% of your compensation, have a chat with Nicole and the team. You'll be glad you did. Search online for G4 Claims. Keep 100% of your claim. G4 Claims. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Selic the Thunder podcast. We've made it to half a century, boys. How how nice. Did you think we'd last this long? Half a hunter. Still a stunner. <laughs> <laughs> 50, 50 episodes old. Thank you to everybody who's helped us get to this point. Feels feels nice. Um, but we've got a big one for episode 50. As you can notice, the two sides are out. The cameras are here. The four-man setup is back. McGinley's even rough. It's a, a wonderful it's a, episode 50. It's becoming quite the occurrence, me being rough in these. <laughs> um, and long may it continue. Aye. It. Uh, well, let's go through the all-star lineup today for okay. today's show because I think we're all fucking rough <laughs> and the worst part is it's it's midnight just about and we're still fucking rough <laughs> so leaving it late we're leaving it late Can I mean, see that about a couple of things there was no chance that I was getting up today um, to no, do a podcast yeah. in fact I got up this morning where, where else than Callum Craig's four <laughs> um, I woke up eyes opened and your man said I'm on the night fucking hell just, just sitting there, I couldn't believe it it was on your first I'm on your wrist Callum it was your big 21st last night how are you doing mate I'm good as, as good as can be. <laughs> Needs no still full of air, but we'll probably get there tomorrow. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Kieran, you were also in attendance at the big 21st bash. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. Enjoy yourself. That was a class night. Yeah. Not a bag of lash. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when I woke up, I just, my dad came to pick me up. I walked into the motor and I was still steaming. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm glad I never done what you done, but man, but wake up in the flare. No. <laughs> That'd be why they want you to go here and you have a, a good long, hard look in the mirror. <laughs> but, I can't even believe it was the flare. Like, the worst part is I claimed a couch. Like, I had the couch. I was sleeping on the couch. And then Jack, shout out to Jack, decided to remove me from said couch mm. and, and place me in the flare. Mad. Pushed, you off the Pushed me off the couch. Apparently, I, I should have a sore back, but we'll wait and see how it gets <laughs> in the next few days. And McGinley, you yourself, you you were out elsewhere. Um, how was your night? It was part of the Grace's loyal, um, uh, like like on Wednesday. You skin. Um, I didn't spend as much as I thought I would. Uh, um, just getting people buy me drinks too and everything. Oh, quite weird. Hey, not bad. It's, it's always nice. It, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> it was a, it was a good night, and then went back to Beans's gaff. Mm-hmm. Um, got home about. Half five, six o'clock. My dog was going mental when I came in. He was like, "Where the fuck have you been, Ryan?" Me hallucinating. Fucking hell, that dog's dumb. <laughs> nah, I, I, I wish you could talk, but actually, I don't because she'd probably be he you know, right. lambasting me. Two of you have pets, and oh, here just... we go. I know what's coming. What? It's got an Instagram. I know. I know. No. Daisy's got an Instagram. That wasn't what I was going to fucking right. say. Dogs may have famous in it. Fuck sake, you vain bastard. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I was going to ask a big question, right? If your dog could talk, right? Who would you want to be the narrator? Who would you want to be? Because I was just thinking about the coyote for the Simpsons and Johnny Cash uh, playing mm. him. Um, I was thinking about that as soon as you said to <laughs> listen. <laughs> I mean, who would you want to narrate your pet if you could have anybody? Well, Daisy's a girl, so um, I don't even know. You're uh, a Kunis. That, that used to be quite good, I think. Uh, yeah, like Guinness, um, just think you've got Meg in the house. <laughs> no, the, the lassie that does all the voice acting, you know the one that does Ash Ketchum and that? I think she oh, could do quite well. Uh, well. What about you? What <laughs> would you have a uh, Shaggy? Um, I don't know, I think it'd be pure funny, like, obviously he's a boy, but I think it'd be pure funny if just a uh, voice that just pure doesn't fit like <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> <laughs> so I would pick it. If I had a pet, I'd be picking Brendan Rodgers. Imagine <laughs> that. Ryan, what time do you call this? What time do you <laughs> call this? <laughs> this is not a beautiful, beautiful up, time to come in the you're house. You're up for training tomorrow morning, boy. <laughs> and you're, you're in it this time. I'm getting the first stoked. plane back. <laughs> <laughs> Calm if you had a pet, one voice, go. Uh, 
Stanley for the office. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's just, awkward. <laughs> it just moans. Um, let us know in the comments. If your pet had a voice, who would you want to be the fucking narrator? Um, let's get on to talking about football. A nice wee introduction to today's podcast as we sit here rough as toast. Um, Celtic yesterday leaving it late like we have tonight, as you said, Ryan. A 1 0 win over Dundee United. All of us were there. I was in a different seat and I honestly thought that was the curse. I thought that that was going to be the, yeah. the dropping of the points. Kieran, I wasn't away yesterday. Yesterday, what was your thoughts? As we haven't talked, uh, really, we've not really spoke about the game. <laughs> just thought you were at the same time <laughs> no, last night. You no. just haven't talked. We weren't on speaking terms <laughs> last night. <laughs> just sat there staring across the room. How was it for you? Four one two last night. Uh, yesterday, I don't know. It was one of the games, but like, is it, it went on and on. You're just like, this is not going to be our day. It just felt chances we were getting, we were only taking. Like this mm. is typical Celtic. They drop points and. We need to capitalise and we don't take advantage of it. But yep. I mean, it's massive if we end up getting the result and you just kind of beat a 90th minute winner. Oh, like, absolute, absolute scenes. Callum, we were obviously levered last night and we had a wee bit of chat about it. I can't remember half the conversations we had, but, you know, we've seen Rangers drop points earlier in the day. That was huge. We had to capitalise on that. It feels like one of those moments, again, like we said against Hearts with Boyce, you were on the Hearts, so a defining moment. I feel like yesterday's one of the games we're going to look back on and go, aye, that was a, a big day, that. Nah, definitely. I think even like, as Game touched on the Morton way through, even the next couple of weeks as well, mm-hmm. it's all season defining games. I think m- massive that we've took the win, but I felt for me it was one of the games that like, they've dropped points today, we need to do it, and it just felt as if it wasn't coming for so long as well. I know, I was, I was holding on, and my dad was sitting there, he was he was getting angry, I've not seen him shout at the football in a long time, um, that was a nice feeling. Ryan, I'll come to you, um, i seen you tweeted yesterday, I, I think it must have been just before we scored the goal. Yeah, I did delete that tweet. Did you delete it? Yeah. Uh, were you taking a tanking? Or, or not what? even taking a tanking, I know I was right, but people just... Uh, that's what I was going to say. But you you raised that point yesterday, and I'm actually inclined to agree with you on what you said. Mm-hmm. I, I think that you were you're right. If you want to explain to the viewers what your yeah. tweet actually was, no, it was about five minutes before the game finished. And obviously, it was five minutes before we scored. Mm-hmm. Was, I think it was about the 85, 86 minute. I tweeted. I said, "And just got to take the blame for changing the team today. You play your best eleven, basically. You got to play your best eleven. I mean, that game was so important. It was every, you, you get the same three points um, on Saturday than you do on Wednesday." Mm-hmm. Or, last Wednesday as well um, I, I I think I don't think we're good enough to be leaving Jota on the bench yep. until half time um, Juranovic as well you play your best right back and I think that was vindicated as well yeah I, I don't know if you agree gentlemen uh, I, I said in my preview and I said, we said the other day as well I didn't think we had to change the team, mm. especially when you've got a big... And I don't think that that's not us coming out and lambasting the manager. The manager knows when he makes a mistake. Yeah. And, and he was obviously vindicated at his decision. We won the game, and I'm sure he's not overly concerned now after we got the three points. But what did you think of the 11 when it came out, Kieran? I mean, I thought... I didn't want him to, but... I don't know, at the same time, I think he just wasn't taking any chances with players like Jota and that, because we need him for Wednesday, yeah. and, and I'm not... So you see def- the method in that, well, I, You understand why he's in it, but as Ryan said, we're not really in a position where we can be doing that, and we're squad depth's looking a bit better now, but I mean, we've got players away in internationals, people still injured in that, so I, it's not something you want to see, because you want to go there and get a very convincing one, but... I don't know, you can understand why he's done it and right. I can understand why he was trying to protect players and that because even if it, maybe it might have been in the back of his mind about recent weeks and that, players getting horror tackles and that and you just know against against us and against that, well, the, the, start, the sort of tackles that get put in up here, like, I just think he was worried about that as right. well, but... Nah, see that, see that, I think it's just a, a side point. Let's see in terms of the game. Like Obviously, it was massive to begin with. We wanted to get in three points before the game, go in best possible. But see them dropping points just before we went in. Nah. I think that made for a very hostile atmosphere at the game because was, like, yeah. you could feel it in the air. It was like if, uh, the angle. Was, was it hostile up in 4 1 2? Right, you got away for one week. No, but that's what I mean. But like, you could feel it around the stadium as soon as somebody missed a chance or somebody's accidentally ran out. Yeah. Everybody's out of seat fucking raging because everybody knew what that meant yesterday. Aye. So it was it was that case. You can understand why people are doing it, but the amount of pressure that got piled on that game was Aye. tenfold as soon as they dropped points. Even just before half time, like if you were if you. Well, you just play the audio, you would think it was about the 88th, 89th minute, and it was about the 42nd, 43rd minute. We were desperate to get a goal before half time, the whole crowd was, but you just need a wee bit of patience See as well in these games like this, especially against teams that don't want to play football. Uh-huh. 
I seen Andrew's comments after the game. He was quite happy with the mm-hmm. atmosphere from what he was saying. You know, he thought. I think it's just it's been a while, but since you've seen that sort of thing, it's like every, I think it's good because it's good in a sense because everybody knows what it means, and I think it will sort of resonate with the players as well. Like, they, like even your Matt O'Reilly that's came in, he spoke about how the atmosphere was uh, bouncing at Tyne Castle right. and that. Like, he'd have been in that yesterday, hitting Christ the crowd. Like you wouldn't get that down south. Like yeah, the sort of like, clambering for the fans to try and get the goal. I mean, it, was, it must have been different gravy, but. Nah, it's good. That's my fear for uh, Wednesday, but because it has a potential to be a quite a flat atmosphere yeah. if things don't go away for the get go, mm-hmm. and that's no very good because as much as we like to go on about Celtic Park having this wonderful atmosphere, Aye. if things aren't going well on the pitch, that's going to be toxic on Wednesday. Yep. But hopefully the players can go out and give something to sing about for Aye. the starting whistle because it will be good before the game. <clears throat> And if we score a high, but you know the the nerves that are going to build up on Wednesday, you can understand why it will be like that. Yeah, but. You're lying if you're saying it's not going to be. Uh, where is it used to sit again? So where do you sit? Four one seven. Four one seven. So you're on our end. Where are you sit? Six. So we're always been lying. No, wait. Four or six is north stand. North, up. North, north stand up. So none of you are sitting the Jockstein stand. No. I must admit, I must have been lying in yesterday. It's just not the same on the Jock. I don't. I, no offense to anybody who sits in the Jockstein stand. Really stand if you like seven, it. Though. I'm not a biggest fan, and I tell you one thing: up and being up in hospitality isn't great. Is it not? You're just surrounded by toffs. Pretty much, mm. you're surrounded by people who are there for quite clearly like their first game or their only game they've mm. been in like the last ten years. I'm not here to take digs at folk. You can't get games, can't get games. It's an affordability issue. It's not that, but it's it no is fucking it's affordability if you're going to hospital. <laughs> 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 it's just, it's just not the same up there. Uh, I knew it wasn't going to be. I didn't go in with high expectations for the atmosphere to be rip roaring at the fucking the malls and their suits and all the rest. Of it, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> there's just something like I want. You know, like I want to do it for a piss, mm. right? And I'm like. Excuse me, darling. Can I get by you there? And they're standing there filming everything. I'm like, come on, if nothing right with filming it in the games. Sometimes it'd be fair if you called me, darling. I'm gonna get out the way. I didn't actually say that. Just excuse me, can I get by? And they looked at me as if I'd been committing this crime. I'm like, I need a piss. Just as a bit of an aside, of an aside, did you? What did you have to eat? Was it? I had fuck food? all. No, I didn't have anything to eat. No, mm. I didn't want anything. I was probably just, explains I was why you were on the floor. I was just boozing. No, I was just boozing. I had anything to eat. The main Knew was some, I think they had a curry, they had some sort of salt and pepper mac and cheese. Mm. Um, they had a couple of things in the menu, and I bought it. But I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be back to hospitality in a hurry. No, <laughs> wasn't that great? What was really good, really good, and that might be because they're a bit of a I'm not going to say a smaller club, uh, but that's what I said. It's for. always better. It's more there's not a steward up there. I never had a seat for the first half. I oh. stood for the first half. Wow. Genuinely, my auntie Margaret. Uh, my auntie Wait, how, did, how did you know if I see... Oh, right, right so... <laughs> I know I say no, but you can all listen. It's a nice wee story. So, we were in one four one. So, we got up the stairs and we got to the guy and he's like, ah, you're doing there to the right. We went down to the right. We sat down in what we presumed was our seats. About a minute to kick off, a woman comes down. She's like, you're sitting in our seats. And I was like, ah, so I'm sitting there. And I had to take charge. My mum and my dad clue. My mum's never been to a Celtic game in my life. My auntie Margaret's 80 years old and my dad's my dad. So, I was like, right, uh, no, but no, on the right seats. So, she brought her tickets. She says, this is 139. Oh, fuck me. So, we had to go way back. So, we went here to 140. And we couldn't, you generally one, two, and three, four, and five didn't they exist. That was your seat, not a one, two, three, and four. That was just that one there. Mm. So we were tons of we were in one forty looking and see the one four one. So for the first half, I gave my auntie a seat. She just took somebody's seat, and me, and my mum, my dad like stood until half time where we could get into your seats because they were right in the middle and it, people were sitting in the first half. And I didn't want to go up during the game like you're sitting in our seats and everybody has to stand up while we try and sort a whole fast in the middle of a row. So I was like, just wait till half time. So at half time, the seats were, they must have like pissed off and then they never came back so we had our seats for the second half so no, and, and the, the stewards and the guys that were in there shock appalling service I, I, I mean, I'm, not a, I'm not a Karen normally <laughs> I don't normally complain about things but their service was absolutely abysmal terrible 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 at their job Um I, I think that there will be a complaint lodged in the Fitzsimons household wow. um, by the sounds of things. They were very poor at their job. They did not want to help up there. It wasn't the actual stewards. They didn't have any. It was like people worked in hospitality like Stand there with their suits and their lanyards, and they were just terrible. They were not helping. If you like listen to the podcast and you walk up there, I'm sorry, but you, you, it was terrible. <laughs> sort your shit out. <laughs> it, sounds, it, sounds, it sounds a bit like the COVID passport people now, because that just doesn't happen. Aye. We just walked right through. It only happens if you're there proper early. Like they checked hours yesterday, and they checked. The only time I've been checked was yesterday because I was there really early, and then one time I went to the CSA to get them, and I walked. 
through the stadium basically and they checked me as I went through but that was because it was like two hours before kick off that was that's the only time I got to get checked anyway um, <laughs> on to proper football again so there's my complaint for the day did you enjoy that Keel? I'm like I don't know who really spoke about the game <laughs> <laughs> Callum what have you got to add we'll move on to doing the Rangers preview next because that is what we want the main chunk of this show to be have you got any thoughts to add about yeah, yesterday's yeah. game? no it was just was just buzzing about the result pretty much I'm glad we took a three points that's why it's starting nicely now I think with the midfield back yesterday, I don't, I, I don't want to be because like, you've got a lot of people mm. that when we get the result, a lot of people when we get the result are there if like, they just forgive the performance straight away. We need to be better on Wednesday realistically uh, yeah. because we need to take our chances. Yep. But in the midfield, it just felt like Dundee United We've were getting up to every ball first of all, mm-hmm. win the second ball, and it just felt like a midfield are getting bypassed. And I understand it's maybe a makeshift midfield now, but I mean, hopefully players will turn up. But then obviously with the big talking point, we never brought up their beat on yeah. getting sent off yesterday. Now. What do, you, what do you think about Beto and getting sent Mate, off yesterday? If he never got sent off opinion. yesterday, he would have got sent off on Wednesday. <laughs> He's been on a tightrope, but the more... I, if you're looking for my opinion at the game, Aye. I was raging. Yep, yep. But looking you're back on the... Me. Looking back, he's took he's taken one for the team now. Yeah, right? Taylor's like, put through. him in that position. I know Taylor, we got fouled right. to be fair, but aye. I mean, look, like, just Taylor's yeah. fanning about with the ball. Aye. I was going to say the exact same thing. He's just fanning about. I was about raging. In that I was getting a bit stinking from my seat because I thought it was just a beat on me, a fanny. Right. Yeah. But when you look back, it's it's quite soft. It's quite tough. To, to, I mean, he's to, he, because he's breaking through, but aye. like you can understand why he, like, he's been sent off, but. I don't know, I'm no pure raise now, I'm not going to sit in pure sleep beat on, he's, he's been improving for Celtic and right. I'm glad to have him in the room, but he's still got that moment in him uh, yeah. that I'm, I'm fearful, especially obviously he got sent half against Rangers last season, mm-hmm. sent half against Mitchell at the start of this season Aye. and sent half again yesterday, so I don't know, it's not something that you pure expect for beat on, Aye. but I don't know, I was kind of fearful it on Wednesday. Calm, you're yeah. looking forward to James McCarthy starting on Wednesday? <laughs> playing a couple of games <laughs> played a couple of derbies here and there um, one other thing I wanted to bring up before we do move on unless you've got stuff you want to throw in about the game yesterday was um, we really need to sort out something else I know we've said this a number of times but against low blocks and defensive teams we struggle badly we, we do and what was pissing me off a lot yesterday is we kept floating boys into the box <laughs> who the fuck's winning a header in that lineup? Uh, yeah, that Marcus, he, the one you'd hope and he man. was away off but, uh, you I, know they started playing those balls in the box after Yakimakis was off the pitch. We, we were trying to send headers in for fucking a bad eye doak shorter. They're not winning head. Dundee have got a very physical back line. A bad there was no chance. Really well to bring that that was brilliant for the goal. It's also the lucky that the centre was in a bit of space. It, man, that was smart at the time because he was in space, but we kept sending the fucking mm-hmm. ball in when people were getting marked. Like, like, we're not winning it. But I mean, realistically, we can't put it down the middle. So if you're going to put a cross in, but I feel like you might be a bit more effective just putting it in low and hard to try to cause problems. Because I mean, defenders, it's their bread and butter to get the ball away the way we are sending it in for them today. So. Don't know. Anything else, boys, to add in? Anybody? I've not game? enjoyed a goal that much. In oh, years, no. honestly. I mean, that it was bad one. It's sort of Hintsy Hamilton at home. Uh, oh, Scott Brown. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think that was the last time I properly went mental. That was really that. nuts, but man, because. Uh, Wasn't it uh, that game? One better thing about yeah. that. Was if it was even pure early. Like, uh, uh, get it up, you. I mean, see, see get if you've got. I know there's some man. people with genuine reasons, like maybe you came off island, you need to make like, a certain ferry in that back. Yeah, but see if you're doing it just to beat the traffic, get a fucking grip. Uh, you wouldn't be doing it on Wednesday. No, no. exactly. So why are you dating mm-hmm. this Saturday? I understand, but you've got the argument, oh, well, I've paid for my ticket, you, I can do what I want. I'm like, well, why are you buying a ticket when there's somebody out there who'd probably like, buy it and uh, stay there? I just don't know why you would spend the money to no stay. Two Fair things annoy me about leaving early, the, the leaving early part itself, but see the people who like defend it to the bitter end, like, like I'll leave early if I want. I'm like, just I mean, look, pure fucking, f- I don't, as if I've took away a personal freedom. Aye, aye. <laughs> They're like, ah, it's my ticket, I can do what I want, aye. I can shred it. <laughs> <laughs> it, really, it really, really annoys me people leaving earlier because then you can't, the, the, the team goes around the whole stadium and claps the fans. Aye. I think the least you can do is wait until, you, until they come round to you and clap back. I, I, I like clapping them at the end of the games. Right. You're lucky I'm, you get it first for you to wait. <laughs> no, 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 they come right Oh, no, no, wait, no, 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 you're not stand. I'm Sorry, I'm thinking you're... Where, I'm, where, I know, I'm thinking you're... A minute you're, from where the Green Brigade are. Aye, so. where we're right above them. I'm thinking that you're taking a fucking time yesterday. You, honestly, then. honestly, until I asked you then, I always thought you were in the jock stadium. No. Nah, I was right thought. in the middle. Like, I was get the main stand and then the opposite. I'm directly in the middle. Oh, wow. Well, that ain't good. Uh, memory card apparently full on... 
one of these cards. So, so it's your kitten from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Callum and Kieran, take it away. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go and put this on to my computer and I'll start the recording again. So that's the end of part one. And when we come back for part two, it'll be time to preview. Used to, by the way, I'll just have the the, stock. Just be the, the stock image here. When we come back, it'll be time to talk about the big derby game. Brilliant. Welcome back to part two. <laughs> right, you'll notice a big difference if you're watching via the video. If you're listening to Spotify or you just listen in the background, you, it won't bother you as much. But we've had a fucking disaster, basically. Um, we don't need to look into the camera the whole show, but if, if we're, we're decide, addressing the audience, we're addressing right the audience. Sorry, it's a destination. So we have to film with this because apparently there's no space on my SD card left um, when there is. I've deleted everything off it. It's a 32 gigabyte card and apparently there's no space. So we can't record dual camera anymore because I only brought the two SDs with me. So you're just going to have to accept this. It's not ideal, we know, and it will never be like this ever again. However, for the time being, it'll just have to do in this big de de derby preview. So, hi, great, what a night, bang my knee, hungover. Uh, the cameras have picked the episode to fuck up. I know, uh, any other episode, that we could have been alright, but this one... You should edit, it'll be easier. Uh, edit will be easier, I suppose, I've only did 20 minutes, I need to sit and do the back and forth. Right, anyway, let's go on to the preview then, let's get on to the big one, because that is ultimately what we're here for, and, and it is... I feel like we say this about every single game now, but it's the biggest game of the season. Mm. Suddenly, yep. we went into this game in a position where we thought we were going to be looking to close the gap. Suddenly, we win this game. We're top of the table, boys. And, the, you know, I never expected to be saying that come come this game. But here we are, we're in the position. Kian, I'll start with you. Overall, you're just buzzing for the game, I suppose. Right, just for, if we don't even talk about the actual game and what, what it means in that aspect to begin with, but see, just being able to go back to the first uh, Celtic Rangers game since that when we got beat, that Aye. that was the last time we got to see one in person to one at Parkhead. But nah, I mean, it's just buzzing for the overall day. But in terms of what the game means in like, for the for the league, it's the, the importance of it is just you can you can't play it down mm -hmm. right? this is the game that everybody's had one eye on even though we've said for ages oh, we can't think that far ahead no. take it one game at a time but it's, everybody's had it in the back of their minds and now uh, here we are it's the next game we don't need to worry about a game before it this is it so and for the circumstances to have fell the way they have in terms that we can go top if we we win it just yeah. makes the, the incentive is there if, you need, if there was no incentive before for some reason there's certainly one now yep. so the players will know what it is but I mean obviously there's a lot of sticking points in terms of like we were talking about earlier the midfield and yep. other things coming into play the, the fact that overall it wasn't really a vintage Celtic performance on Saturday it's not the ideal performance to get you in but the result we got was massive to use a boost and hopefully we can carry that forward into Wednesday I'll come to you last McGinley because yeah. you're always the one that likes to just get stuck into it and say I'm going to win I. Um, so we'll, we'll wait We'll wait for that we'll Sweet. go a bit longer Callum as Kieran touched on brilliantly there I mean he had to be you basically said everything that we're all thinking um, going into this game the circumstances have obviously came around and helped Celtic big time it's, it's probably the most perfect scenario we could have asked for on that front um, what are you thinking then how, how are you feeling going into this game I don't want to downplay it but once again it's one of those games you want to be careful Rangers are still a decent enough side it's going to be a really tricky one and probably the biggest test so far for this, this group of players definitely I think I see you don't want to jump the gun and commit and what a bold statement I'm sure we get never have his bold statement <laughs> Ready to go, but um, I'll see you know what I came out and say, I come flow one, do a sat and the rest of it. I think, also, recent weeks, Rangers have not yep. been up too much, also dropping points up at Petaudry and then the weekend at Dingwall there. So, I think we'd need to just throw everything at it, throw everything at it, throw the kitchen sink at this game. Talking about throwing everything at it. This is the first time I've played them, of course, on that early one this season. I think it's going to be perhaps and hopefully night and day from that game. I think that we're going to be creating a lot more chances. Probably going to see a lot more um, attacking freedom from the team. Being at our own stadium, being at our own ground, having our own fans. Are you expecting an all out sort of Ange classic on Wednesday night? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping we'll hopefully try and get one of those early performances we had with Ange at the start of the season mm. turned it all out attack yeah. not a scoreline wise 6-0 <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine um, no I'm definitely expecting to be a lot more attack I don't feel as if I will sit in especially see with that crowd behind them as mm. well everybody should have that urge to just drive on aye right McGinley how are you feeling mate confident confident yeah I, 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 I think we're getting quite, them at a good time as well of, in, in terms of confidence 
what are we all thinking right now? Quite, I, quite I, think, optimistic, yeah. I think this is the most confident I've been heading in the head. And I'm always quite confident, quietly confident, you could say, sometimes, going into derby games. But this is probably... I'm not. This is not me coming out and saying I think we're guaranteed to win and we're going to beat them on Wednesday, but I'm really confident. I, I don't know what I used to. I mean, even in the height of our dominance, we pumped them 5-0 in that. I'm pretty sure before the games I wasn't even that confident. <laughs> but, you, you're on the same side as Kieran? Oh, I think... Oh. I just have cautious optimism. Yeah. Like I never like to get too. Far. I don't like to put my neck on the line and say things Aye. that will definitely come back to bite me one day. <laughs> you've you've avoided being cl- so used to are clear of clips. Yeah. Not sure about you. Have you been clipped? <laughs> no yet. No yet. No. no, don't think so. Wow. But I mean, I don't know. Like you're, we're certainly in a position where we're allowed to be more confident that we would have been obviously gone into that game at the start Aye. of the season. We've got a bit more reason to be confident. Aye. So I don't know. It's, it's nice that we're not going into it which filled with dread. We're on a mm-hmm. high going into it, and hopefully we can capitalise on a golden opportunity because it's something that we spoke about. If you like to win leagues, you need to take your chances. Mm-hmm. And I think even in terms of not even the bigger picture, but in terms of the game actually taking our chances because that's been something that's frustrated me quite a bit in Celtic's performances yep. even when we're winning like we, it could be by more and in these mm-hmm. games you're not going to have as many chances so you need uh, to make sure you're taking them. your chances mm-hmm. well said so you, you you more towards Kieran's side quiet con- co- just optimism sort of ah, quiet confidence then. I think as I said every derby's just a hint like a cup final it's a one off game it always feels so it's one of those ones no matter even the now we've got this sort of the confidence behind us, like Aye. the pendulum swung our way, but I still feel as if kind of predict it. Predict it. We'll come back to your second weekend. Like, I always look at this in like two minds. This, these games, there's like half of me that's always like, there's no point if you're not feeling confident. You know, you've got to uh, fucking, you know, yeah. fuck the cunts. Don't care how they're playing. I'm, I'm, I'm sure when they walk up to the game, I'll be. I'll be getting it. Sorry, especially in drinking. Yeah, aye, but there's always that other half of me as well that's always like, I don't want to come and say something daft. Um, so it's, it's a weird one. But McGinley, you're obviously always always confident in this team, um, and, and rightfully so. They've given us a reason to be confident right now. But, but how you how you feeling going into the game? Just general thoughts. Ask me when the teams come out. Oh, and well, that's no that point in asking. No, no, I know. No, no, no. Podcast at the morning, pal. I'll, I'll just stay in here until, uh, <laughs> until kick off. Yeah, <laughs> Just sitting there um, live stream, everybody watching you, everything. I'm one of those guys that gets confident when they see the team. I mean, I'm mm. always quite think, optimistic. I think everybody kind of feels like that at the derby, didn't they? But I, I just think yeah, I mean, a couple think, of the yeah, players yeah. are coming to come back. Think back to the one back in October last year. Mate, that was Stephen Welsh. I was <laughs> like, well, I've, I put on Twitter, come out a hat trick, stick a tenner on it, I'm sure. When oh, that no, I, st- I stuck to it, but no, no. St- <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think we're going to see a couple of players come back. I don't know, yeah, what's, I, I don't know what's saying, what's mm-hmm. bringing this up, but... I just think there'll be a couple of surprises. Yeah, I, I hope so. so. Are we all crossing the fingers for masked Callum McGregor then? Yes. Aye. Dashing Callum Mack. I think we beat on not being available as well. I think it definitely, it definitely and it's, it's would be to, nice, but aye, I don't think it's going to happen. It's hard to read the room because he loves bluffing us. It, you know, we don't know what to Kyogo, for all we know, could be leading the line on Wednesday. I doubt it. We've not heard anything. Nah, but nah. but you never know. He keeps his cards close to his chest. We could be in for a real surprise come the, the team announcement on Wednesday night. Yeah, but at the same time, if there's one guy that knows the magnitude, and I know I've been giving him, giving him lots of stick this season whenever he's came on as a sub, if there's one guy that knows the magnitude of a Celtic Rangers game, just by simply being brought up in it, it's James McCarthy. Aye, aye. I feel like that's something out with, in the team that know there's no too many people there that would actually fully grasp the situation. Yep. Especially with us having a newer team, Rangers have got players, even though they might not be in the sort of mouldy McCarthy they brought up in it, but they've been here long enough to understand what this means. They've got players in their team that are seasoned well in these fixtures now, so they've got their hand in that sense because we've still got quite a fresh squad, right. but there's still players in our, in our midst that are fully aware of it, and I'm pretty sure the point's been driven home Aye. this is what it means and I don't think any there's not going to be a player in that dressing room that doesn't understand the magnitude of yep. this game it, no, no. especially no with the, the points being so close as well now that just mm-hmm. adds another Aye. factor to it but these are professional competitors at the end of the day they want to compete to be top of the league yep. they have the opportunity mm-hmm. to go top of the league Aye. that Aye, even, even if you don't grasp the driver that, thing, aye, that, that is itself, first versus yep. second, is yep. MD can, MD and it's can understand huge. that. It's huge. McCarthy, Callum, this is a massive, massive game for him because he's taking so much stick. He's not been good enough, quite frankly. I think he's had one decent game. It was decent, decent at most. Um, and he hasn't had that performance yet to make you go, okay, it was a, a, a good sign. And do you think this is the a good opportunity for him? I mean, it's not ideal that he has to start, but this being 
the Celtic fans game Aye. this is a big stage for him to try and do something definitely I think he goes out and has a good performance Wednesday night we'll be ranting and raving about him straight away Aye. everybody's estimations go up but it's the same as any player like Starfield for example Aye. Starfield was also under criticism at the start and then he's been having cracking performances but he's not been getting that praise Aye. So I don't know if it's we, we spoke about this we, first impressions and yep. Celtic fans were awful Absolutely. for it because Aye. we kind of shake what we first thought and I show a very reactionary Aye. fan base I think Wednesday night will say a lot for him for, for the remainder of the season I think yeah it could be huge because he, if he has if he goes out against Ron Rangers the Celtic fan the big Celtic man James McCarthy and has a brilliant game suddenly he becomes you know See that see what you're saying about how he, perfect estimations. Right, see what you're saying he gets it and that, right? Aye. I can understand that, but see, I don't know if that we can't really make a comment on it because we've only seen him at a press conference, right? But to me, he doesn't seem like the kind of man that you want driving that point across because I feel like if you, if you had James McCarthy telling you how much it means you'd fall asleep off of your <laughs> Because honestly, like, I can't imagine in that like, press conference, I was not expecting I expect him to be a bit more hangy. Uh, and yeah. I, I can't imagine him rallying addressing them. I know, no. I can't imagine. He, he might be a different animal away from must, the camera. He must be because honestly, like on the park for like Evan and that, he seemed commanding and stuff. Like he, he shouts and he, he does. That's the reason why I got those injuries because he was all action midfielder. Aye. Um, love to put a tackle on him. I mean, he still is doing that, putting Aye. tackles in. He also won a really good foul uh, yesterday as well that totally took the pressure off us mm. when in, in stopping. That's what you need, man. I think he's, if he's going to have a good game, let it be this one because it's. Yep. Yep. You can't say a baptism of fire because he's, he's, he's had, had plenty of games now. <laughs> baptisms now. Yeah, more, than, more, than, more baptisms right. than most folk. He, he said he's stepped his toe in the, the water, but <laughs> now he's getting his heat. He's, well getting, done that. Getting, he's getting dunked like that video of this, is it like the Russian Orthodox Church or something. They keep throwing them. Swinging the way in there. A couple of baptisms water. here and there. <laughs> a couple of baptisms. Um, no, it's big for him. One point that I've, I've not um, actually tweeted yet, surprisingly. Oh, did you see my purchase last night? <laughs> Was it the jewel? Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Drink does things to, to a man. That? That's, going, that's coming on this podcast. So, so what, what's that, your list of steaming purchases? You've yeah. got that, your Patrick, Patrick Star shorts. shorts <laughs> aye, I've got a pair of, um, what else have I bought steaming? John McGinn, Aston Villa top, printing on the back of McGinn 7. Uh, wow. Fuck, what else have I bought steaming? Honestly, I'm, I'm terrible bucket for it. Steaming bucket so hat. Oh, that, we bought, we <laughs> paid £80 pound for bucket <laughs> hats. Um, Christ, there's a lot of fucking, a lot of <laughs> shit. I don't thing. think I've ever purchased something like, like that like Steven I've, I've not too I've many things fucking, fit my head. <laughs> <laughs> a, I, I get I, <laughs> same it's too tight I get attached to the idea of things and then like I don't do it because I know not to do it but then I get a drink and I'm like right do it just man, do it, do it. Aye. it's terrible so I've got that Joe Hart print I'll go in the background of the podcast um, <laughs> absolutely um, hopefully it says used at the bottom <laughs> in, 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 what, in what way is that being used <laughs> well, well, depends who's got it I guess well, he's certainly getting used with me <laughs> um, see if it's even like, See if, uh, what's it called Wednesday when I go into when you're in we're in your gaff if I go in for a piss in the toilet and I see that that's hung up in the shower <laughs> <laughs> so you get Teddy Cruz I have got Teddy Cruz but that's not mine to be fair that's not mine that's not mine to be fair um, but one thing I noticed I've not tweeted yet surprisingly I'll probably end up tweeting on game day if Carl McGregor doesn't he play and beat on suspended it could be Captain Joe yeah, oh, I'm right. excited for that. Captain he didn't get Joe. the cap. He was I'm, man straight uh, away. Uh, no, he, 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 he was focusing. I like that. Did you see that? Right. Um, so B Tom went to get Hart the armband, but Hart was he was focused. He was he was trying to sort the war. You know, he basically said like, Look, "Wait a minute, go. Let me sort this." And then then he got the armband, didn't he? Yeah, uh, I think he got the armband. Um, he but he was, I think it was know, concentration. Maybe it's not a small him. thing. It's one of these small things. But he was he was focused on what he was doing. He was like, nah, "Fuck off," That's you know. Good to see. It was, he was he was trying. To, God, I, I love Joe Hart. I've yeah. done such a one eighty on him, but I absolutely. You've done such a one eighty. I went for fucking. We never touched him for the game either. Jota. On that, in the crowd. Oh, oh that, 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 that's, that's what you want to see on Wednesday. Imagine it, 90th no, minute whistle goes, we've won the game, the fans are fucking, you know, no Rangers fans in the stadium. <laughs> Regardless if he signs a permanent contract or not, he he's don't. locked in and he gets it. Aye. He, he's Aye. getting it. Aye. Hopefully he signs. I hope he signs. Well, but we that's another conversation for another moment. Let's get back to talking about the derby. Um, uh, one thing that I want to r- drill home about this game is if we lose... It's not game over. It's not the end of the world, but it's, it's, a, it's a massive over. psychological it, it, thing. Yeah, it is, but there's going to be so many people, once again, who will throw the toys out the pram and say that the league is done. I understand it's not ideal, and I understand it has got massive implications as to how this title race goes for the rest of the season, but I just want people to understand, we lose five points behind, okay, but five points has been done before, and it can yeah. be done again. 
I just, uh, well, I don't like the idea is if Rangers get papped to a Europa League after Dortmund and we, if we I get through against Bodo Glimt, we're, we're playing Sunday, Thursday again. Aye. So, I don't know, I don't like the idea of them getting the games in before us because they'll be playing the Saturday, we'll be playing yep. the Sunday, we'll be the ones playing catch up. Mm-hmm. And that, I hate that because that in itself, it's all psychological out there. So, that's that's a big thing there. But And it's also like fatigue that you've seen how badly our, struggle, uh, our squad struggled in December there with the fixture yep. congestion. Pff, might be in our fucking best interest to get uh, to have I them. mean, ideally, we just don't lose. Yeah, you know, it's like, <laughs> if, just you, don't lose. if you lose, I'll kill you. I just can see it happening if we do lose, there's going to be such an outrage, and I'll be raging at the time, I know I will be uh, if we've got to go and lose the game, but I just, I, I feel like we've got such a fight in this team, such a character around the team, that it's not over on Wednesday if we do lose the game, I'd really just no. want people to... People you understand. It will feel that. like the end of the world at, <clears throat> at the, the, the moment. Yeah, at the moment that happens. Right. Sort of thing, I feel yeah. like when you wake up, rough as. <laughs> uh, you think about the realization. It. But, I mean, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Aye. Hopefully we can get the win. So let's try and talk about the opposition a little bit since it is the preview. We've got to kind of talk about them. I'll start with you, Cal, and we have touched on the fact that they are in a little bit of a, a slump compared to us. We've came back the stronger side from the, the the break. The results will prove that. I don't care how many Rangers fans will be in giving it. They're still top of the league. The facts are there. The stats are there. The run of form is there. Celtic are currently the uh, the better performing side. Um, free all at the weekend. Callum, I don't know if you got to see much of the game. I heard you and Ian were having a wee watch here, here and there. Um, what did you make of Rangers? What did you make of Ahmad Diallo? Um, and, and what do you think of them as we go into play them? Yeah, I mean, I think the first one after that is I think McGregor was celebrating his 40 for a couple of days earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he was steaming in that goal yesterday. He <laughs> was immense. That gives you, like, that league, gives you a good lift in confidence considering the performances he's had against us right. in recent years. I think that gives you a lift in that sense. But Diallo, I think, so he gets off the mark well, gets his goal, but... For me, I felt there wasn't an awful lot to his game. For me, personally, really? other people have different I, I only got, I, obviously, because we were at we yeah. were at Celtic Park early, we only kind of seen the second half in the lounge, and that was just... See, I think it's a bit, a bit of like be hanging about the owl, because, uh, I mean, it looks like he's got a good turn of pace, bit of skill. I mean, that's what you want for a player, get a, a uh, young player getting on loan for why the big clubs in England. Mm-hmm. But and it, he's also, you need to mind, they're playing at Dingwall, tiny wee pitch. Uh, it, it's narrow, uh, it's hard to go up. It's not exactly the, it's a winger's like dream. It's a minute as well, like. So... I mean, he done well to get the goal, and I think he will be a decent player for them for the, the duration that he's Aye. up here, but hopefully he's a stinker on Wednesday. Aye. All <laughs> season, Callum, we've had Rangers fans, for some reason, clamming, clanging onto this idea that Celtic's defence is, is rank rotten. Watching that performance at the weekend there with Rangers, I think there's a lot of opportunities to exploit their defence. Definitely, I think. The first goal, it's a mixture of obviously McGregor's blind on, Goldson, not been switched on. Mm-hmm. Second goal, I don't know what Bassey's doing, just uh-huh. swinging his leg up and there at it. And then also the third goal, it's not putting the man up at the back post. So uh, it's the basics. All the same. You, uh, you, you coach that every week, mate. You coach that stuff. What would you date your players if they co- if they done that? Oh, fucking, I'd, I'd be hoarse just to shout. <laughs> and I'd just, that's for us even get a change in them. Aye. I'm just waiting on an outcry from the, uh, the Scottish media. Because Starfelt was labelled a disgrace. Yeah, and, but and, it, it, does that not like I know we talk about this basically every week. It's Starfelt's perception, and, and the, but it's no piss you off this mad thing like Rangers fans still going about their defence being bad and mate. We've, they're statistically yeah, wrong because uh, like, it like, just annoys me. I'm not saying our defence is amazing. I'm not saying it's perfect, mm-hmm. but we've conceded the least amount of goals in the league. Yeah. Joe Hart has the most clean sheets in the league. We have the two best centre halves in the league. Um, at this moment in like, time even on the basis of facts but like uh, yeah, it's just it's facts, facts. it's, it's not an opinion like, at this point like it's not a bad defence <laughs> like it's like, it's just not it's no the it's no bad the proof is I know, okay. I know. They're, just it, to, they're choosing to go off a couple of clips for the, the start not, of the season you know what I mean it's not our fault that Conor Golden's made his career in a Covid hit season mm. he became Be- Beckenbauer last season you, for you, whatever you, reason Union Bears player of the year right. mm. that's right so that, was a, that was a great look as well wasn't it baffled me with him yesterday after getting that goal He's on the way, sitting pointing to the badge if he's this big fucking loyal player to them. The kids get four months left in his contract and he's just refusing to sign one. Maybe an indication to him signing, but I mean, you'd think it'd be done by now, surely, yeah. if it was that, you know. I hope he signs. Yeah. If, yeah. That's, if that's the level, then it's okay, because he's got a mistake in him. Right. And that's always been the case. Mm-hmm. 
Aye, it was good for them last season. Uh, and the empty before crowds. that, I yeah, really talking about empty crowds, uh, did you see the video St. Mirren put on their page? <sighs> That's um, like something out of Chernobyl, top, honestly. Top of, mate, on it, that was like, did you see it the other day? So St. Mirren put up a post like uh, one year from our first victory at Celtic Park since 1990 and they played the clip of them scoring the goal at Celtic it's Park. Just eerie and it, it's eerie. no, it's no, even silence. I forgot for a wee while they were playing the crowd noise through the tannoy and it just sounds... It on, it's like a horror film. It's, it on, it's just. On, I, I, I watched it. I was like, I, I, I'm not going to say scared watching. I'm not going to. I'm no. I've I'm probably not, seen. I'm not one of these. Celt- I'm not one of these Celtic fans who are going to sit here and cling on to this, this, this whole like, oh, it doesn't count and all that. But last season was so alien, and I'm not going to make any excuses for losing ten in a row, but. I think football all across Europe should, it was just, it wasn't it was, the same it last year. Barking, it man. was just barking. So many things out of the ordinary happened and we all know why, because there was no fans in the grounds and, and that is just the honest truth. I'm not taking away anything from Rangers. They went through a whole season. They, they, they went undefeated and, and they won the league title. They stopped 10 in a row, fair play. But last season was just so fucking alien. It was horrible to watch. Uh, I mean, last season, like, really open my eyes to the fact that as much as I'm a football fan Aye. I'm really not as big a football fan as I thought because see just sitting having to watch the game there's mm-hmm. nothing to it I'm like fuck me this is awful Pish. Like, if there was Mid- one season we are going to lose the 10 I'm quite glad it was that one Yeah, because yeah. I wouldn't have been able to handle it if it was in like if we were Rogers in the stadiums um, let's go back to talking about Rangers then um, of course they are the reigning champions it's still a decent side we're playing Ryan um, one thing that we never wanted to see well you said, I don't care they could play the fucking best team for it I genuinely yeah, think your team's still being I don't give a fuck right put, put him in if you like I don't. I honestly don't buy into it as much a good player but you you think he's great Joe Arribo he is back in the Rangers team big bonus for them as as I was absolutely gutted to see that Nigeria get put out. Who was it against to get put out? Tunisia. Was it Tunisia? Tunisia. Tunisia. You're on my list, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. um, it's just he's a he's a good player. I think he's one of the best players in the league. Um, top two or three, I would say. Yeah, probably is um, up there. I think McGregor's the best player in the league, though. I'll say that. What, um, what, what, what one? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> After watching yesterday, uh, aye, it's it's. it's disappointing for us that he'll be playing but do you know he's not really turned up in games against us so Joe Joe Arrivo yeah um, I mean obviously that can change you know I might have jinxed it there but <laughs> hopefully, hopefully not but um, no he, he's, he's a good player and you'd rather he wasn't playing but yep. Celtic have just got to deal with it we, we can't play their game it. yeah we can deal with it we definitely can deal with it mccarthy has got to put down a, a marker early doors though that he's Breaky's in a game like, Breaky's fucking like <laughs> 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 honest, I, I, honestly my whole attitude towards Aribo is bring him fucking on I don't care I don't I know, like, it's like, you, I you don't like give tons excuses either but uh, like, we beat them all and we never even had Aribo ah uh, you know exactly I because that's what happens and it's you know the Celtic fans are like that I know we did exactly same it's just one thing I have never ever sat on YouTube and went ah gave out an excuse mm. we get beat we get beat they it's pumped true. us last season and every single game I went on and I said how it was and that's what I'll do again if it happens and I'll, I'll, I don't care who plays for us the way I look at it is you don't need any bigger fucking appetite to win than a, than a derby game in this country so no, true. That, that's how I look at it um, I don't think quality so much unless you're fielding you know your, your proper B team uh, you know there shouldn't be that much of a big deal made of it I think the one thing I would say about Aribo though is it has Sorry, got God. significantly better since they put him as an attacking mid yeah. rather than out on the right, the right wing, wing. Um, he's a better yeah. player and he's get, when he's got that freedom to roam and Kieran, we'll come to you to finish up on the Rangers chat we'll look at them coming back from the winter break they drew with Aberdeen obviously they beat Sterling Albion in what has been their best performance they, they struggled against Livingston to get over the line and they obviously dropped points again does that give you the fear that this is the kick up the arse game for them and this is where they pro for I know, in, 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 it's, it's always a fear but, but I mean the amount of pressure that's piled on this I mean I think the pressure's on Celtic this game to be honest I mean like I know the, it's pressure on both teams but I think Rangers are still the one tap of the league you know but I mean everything changes so fast in Scottish football like yeah. any any game it can like we're talking about the pendulum swinging back in your direction now, but it could easily just swing straight back after yeah. this game so it's it's a, it's an ever changing uh, game we've got up here, but I'm gonna have it any other way. No, it's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's just the melting cinch. pot. It's just the greatest, the cinch. cinch. Can I be, honestly? They need to get Ryland in to hand out that trophy. I'd really, I'm, I'm I don't asking know if for you've it. watched the video the past couple of days. Oh no, is it cancelled? Is it cancelled? Well, I, I think oh, the, no, the son of trying to cancel him. Oh, um, the son of. What's he done? <laughs> he asked somebody that's recording him for gear. 
Show the gas. Like, what have I been there? Come on, I am. All right. What was it? Does he ask and? Have you got any cocaine? <laughs> how, does it, how does it go? Like, no, he says it in a joking way, like, I'll effing kill you, because he's recording them. Uh, the guy's recording them. So he's just went to the patsy. I think, I honestly think Rylan is one of the greats, so, and I, I won't use that term lightly, but uh, I, I love the I guy. Like him I, I like him really, a lot. I think he's really good. I'm quite indifferent. I don't really care. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not an avid honest, viewer. Honest, the, honest the Rylan the fan. <laughs> um, I hope I was. Hoping, One you know, of the I thought boots. you were going to see when I said that. There, I thought it was like, you ever seen that video? Fucking hilarious! I laugh all the time. It's uh, Jimmy Fallon and RuPaul, and it's like mm. he's like, oh, the first drag, drag queen. queen to be on the cover, of, and, and and RuPaul's like, that drag queen, drag queen, yeah. and Jimmy Fallon's like. Oh no! Right. It's like it's the queen of drag, and the Jimmy Fallon's like, I thought we can't do that. I thought I was done. I thought His I was whole finished. Life flash before I, I mean, you actually stop talking about Jimmy Fallon. He actually like he stops and he's like, <laughs> I thought you were going to talk about the Jimmy Fallon um, thing where the guy touches him. No, and then he goes, Jimmy Fallon done blackface, did they know? I think so. I should be one of the I just got rid of that for fuck's sake. I Judy Garland as well. Judy Garland, she's been dead. I, I, I don't think she's worrying about getting cancelled. <laughs> she's expired. This Judy Garland died in the fucking she, she, she's she, the 60s. Uh, she's bones, man. <laughs> I, I remember. <laughs> Judy Garland's doing the tango in hell. She's no kicking a ball. <laughs> nah, she God. is not kicking a ball. No, Mate, she had not. a tragic life. Barbiturate over there. Terrible, terrible too. life. Aye, she, she, had had a, a, she had a very poor, poor life. Have you ever read, read into her life? I've not watched the film either. No, I've not seen the film, I just know. You've never watched Wizard of Oz? No, I've seen the film. Fuck off. I'm so glad one of the great. Toto Wolf. Um, I knew you were going to mention him though. Uh, no, there's only one Toto. Uh, there's only one Toto. Actually, two, they're, they're that. No, Michael, no! As well. It is all not right. Um, <laughs> you just found the dog saying that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't have you know. That is so not right. That is so not right. <laughs> um, no, but uh, it's tragic life, I really, really tragic. Poor. Um, really poor. But I, I, anyway, Judy's dead. Um, <laughs> just like, just like the club are playing on Wednesday. Shit, <laughs> oh, I've oh, stepped that one. Well, <laughs> um, so you know, as we wrap up the end of this, let's just go through the table and do a sort of. I don't want to say predictions because I hate predicting the Derby game, but let's just final thoughts. We'll all have like a wee minute to wrap up everything we're thinking. I'll go this way around. McGinley, a minute, son, on you go. You've got till that hits 28 30. Right. So I, I don't even want that long, to be honest. Um, huh? I think it'll end 2 1 Celtic. I think mm. it's going to be difficult because they've got most of their players. The only player that really get missing is, is Morelos, but. I feel like the tide's turning it's a little bit. The pendulum is swinging. Um, I just hope that we can get a couple of players back. Maybe even Rogic or Maida on the bench. Mm. There's more chance of Maida yeah. than is, Rogic. Is Rogic not playing an old man? Or is that I'm Maida? Not sure. Because I feel like... Some days, I'm sure. I'm going to go and look up the news. Right, on you yeah, go, right, um, keep going. Even if we could have that boost of having a couple of those players on the bench and maybe McGregor if he's available. Aye. If Master McGregor, I'd love to see that. Um... It's going to be a really, really interesting game. Obviously, no Rangers supporters in the ground. There should be, there should be, um, would, you, would you call it, there should be um, more incentive for Celtic to go out and win in front of all the fans. But at the same time, there'll be pressure on them. But I, I'm just I'm just buzzing for the game. That's all, that's all I have to say on it. Nice, so, mate. Nice. I've, I've spluttered my way through that. That's all right. right. You've, you've done it under the time I was giving you. I'll have to. What's it called? Uh, yeah. It's Australia that's playing a no man. Uh, Japan are playing in Japan. Japan. So... That's a mouthful. Yeah, see what I was checking, but I don't know if it's just an error on Fortmore, but it says the kickoff time's 10 14 am out here, but I'm like, ah, fair enough, it's later on, but why 14? 14? <laughs> oh, it might be one of the things, I'm not sure, but I remember they done in, remember in England, they they done something like, I think it was a few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago, they done all the kickoffs at 3 yeah. 01, and it was for some like awareness, I think it was something like mental health awareness mm, or something yep. like that. They done, so it might be something uh, something like that, but they done all the games at 3 01 pm, and I was, because I remember sitting there, I was like, if them do knows, put it in the comments. That's a fact, <laughs> aye. Um, but okay, my minute, I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll get to a right into these cunts, that's basically all I'm going to say. I'm just, honestly, I want to see fucking blood and guts. You gotta fucking die for three points. Um, I, I, I honestly, I, I know we are a better team than them. 
I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, football, uh, yeah. I think we, we are a better footballing team. Um, yes, they're top of the league, but this is a massive chance, and I don't want us to blow it. Get the best team we can possibly get on that field. Joe Hart's going to lead us to fucking glory, hopefully. If I'm left with egg in my face, I'm left with egg in my face, but I'm feeling really confident. Um, and it's probably the most excited I've been for a derby in a long, long time. Yeah. Um, so hopefully the atmosphere delivers. I'm glad I'm back at Celtic Park to get it up every fucking loon ball that wanted to be behind closed doors. We like to play a football with a crowd. Um, and they and, obviously don't. And they obviously don't. So yeah, bring it on. I'm fucking <laughs> excited. There's my there's my minute and my prediction. Christ, I'm gonna I'm gonna say same two one Celtic. I'm gonna go for that. Right, Cam, you've got a minute. Yeah. I think you've literally just to everything else. I <laughs> that you just hope it is that it's always going to be the strongest team available. But in the same sense, you would like to see a couple of the players back, even if it's to only be in the bench and they come off and make an appearance. That'd be even better. I think you can't have any, there cannot be a single passenger on that team whatsoever. And you'll be able to tell them in the opening five minutes, because the opening yep. five is always 100 miles an hour. Yep. You, that that basically sets the tempo of the game. You dictate who will win it. Mm-hmm. I'd say personally, um, predictions. Too bad copying up bank square. Too much is the safe one, isn't it? You know, you're not saying anything extraordinary, but nice. um have you got any in your head very quickly anybody can go have a standout game? Hoping Juranovic. Juranovic's yeah, always had a solid performance, but I'm hoping, thinking, like, right. I'm hoping it's he can daft man the match. If he gets a goal on it, even yeah. better. But nah, I hope he is a big penalty. We penalty to Celtic. Right, Kieran, let's make it as explicit as you can. <laughs> Just get stuck right into the bastards, man. <laughs> I mean, it's what I've been into. You might right. just get tore right in, and it's, it's just busting for the actual game itself. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of the football, I mean, that's a massive chance. If we've got any realistic ambitions of going on to win that league title, this is the game you set the marker in. Everything's fell into place for us to go top the league if we win. So take the opportunity. And we need big games. I know we're saying specific players. We need a big game for everything. Eh? Passengers, as Callum said. But if I want to see somebody, Yakimakis, because I mean, mm. he's he's an R one. It's very fifty fifty. We like when it's going good, it's going great <laughs> against like when he's getting the goals uh, and that. But then he wasn't he playing that well and fucking like, everybody's jumping on his back straight away. Oh, I don't know about him uh, on Wednesday. I'm like, hopefully he can turn up on Wednesday and get a goal or two because the confidence that would give him sh- shades of uh, uh, Dembele coming in for <laughs> for Griffiths back in the five one. But no, just absolutely buzzing and uh, he's your. I would love a wee shot a goal. <sighs> just imagine the full stadium. Shot down the way. Mm-hmm. Oh. Shot down, shot down that's that's just what I'm looking forward to as well. If we win, man, the stadium will be bouncing after yep. that. Yep, and I'll be bouncing after that. I'll be bouncing over to wherever we go. Um, don't know what the plans are yet. Yeah, save, save us a table somewhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, okay, listen, if you, you like your podcasters, um, save a table something in between. Ladies and gents, <laughs> because Ryan will buy you a pint. I don't know why I have to clean up my flat. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Let's go into the last couple of segments of the show then. I'm buzzing for Wednesday and hopefully the next time we do this show, we'll all be sitting here, whoever's on the show will be sitting here with a massive smile on their face and hopefully we'll be top of the league. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I just hope it's one of the derbies that deliver. Like, I remember, like, you got the nil nils and the Clint Hill won each game and I just, for the pish, I want us to deliver. Because the last one, you know, it's been two fucking years since I've been at one and, you know, we got beat that day. So I, know, I really, really want just a, a, a good game. Day though as well. Aye. 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 Right, let's go into the last couple of segments of the show. We've got the Twitter questions, which I'll let McGinley host as always. We've He's went, Hannah, went mental this week, aye, aye. very. Aye. Don't know if there's been a <laughs> spike. The, the, the views as well recently have been, been absolutely really, really superb. A great start to 2022. A credit to everybody. Thank you all. And hopefully this show will, will do the same with the Derby preview. Plenty of Rangers fans waiting to clip moments, I'm sure. Um, that's the game. Um. But aye, let's get to these Twitter questions, and because you know we've, we've already spoke, I think for probably nearly an hour, we'll try and fire through as quick. We're not going to get through every one of these questions, but mm-hmm. we'll try and get through the, as many as we can while having a laugh. So, Cal says Wednesday is my first Rangers game. Oh. What's it like, and would you say it stands out from, and would you say it stands out from every other game? Well, I'm going to spin the question for Cal here. I seen that earlier. Enjoy, by the way. Um, there's pretty much nothing like it. Uh, but let's go down the table. I'm going to spin this. What was everybody's first derby game? Cal, uh, what's yours? Two 0 against them at Hamden. Is that your first See one? The right? First one we came back. Cal first time we played them. Colonel no, Collins. Oh, 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 right. I'm thinking two 0 a few years uh, ago. Griff. Ah, was that the? F- aye. Aye, that was my first. That was uh, the one that the Copper ninety came up for, wasn't it? That, that one, uh, Kieran, yours. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to guess yours, but I, 
Is it around 2010? Mm-hmm. Aye. Aye. Which I got my granddad gave me his season ticket for it, that game. Uh, May, I can't, I, it's May 2010. We yep. beat Rangers 2 1. Marc Antoine Fortune and Lee Naylor scored. Oh, oh no. Brilliant. Lee Lee Naylor. 2 1, we beat them. Aye. Uh, nice. Ryan, you. It wasn't a good start at all. Uh, League Cup final. Uh, Yelovich hits oh, a whole post aye. and it kind of trickles in. Aye. Um, I can't remember who scored for us. It might have been Joe Ledley. Who did with, score that game? Did you get a photo of him? He was in Grace's apartment. He was absolutely rubber after it. Did you speak to Jig? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't no. catch up with him. No, he, went, he went into Grace's as soon as I went out, basically. Ah, See f- that? Seen Two legends place. can't be in the same place. Uh, yeah. um, my first one was a, a cracker. Mine was a 5-1, the embolition. That was my first one. <laughs> um, sadly, when I was... I, I, I can't tell you were calm as well. I didn't have a brain until I was, like, 16. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I had... And they caught the capability. Some people would argue I still don't have a brain, um, but I, I wasn't allowed to go to any of them until I was like 16. So I was the same. I wasn't allowed because I was, had one of those opt out season tickets. Aye. So. Aye. Nah, my dad would know. Not a chance he would have let me go until uh, then. So that was my first one. But I mean, I, I, for Cal, there's nothing like it. It's just. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit so. solid with the, the allocations and such. And Watch oh, out for I TSF know. soon. Watch out for TSF. Kieran, Kieran Hall's directive debut coming up <laughs> on, on TSF. Um, so, I, that you're right, Kieran has, hasn't it? It's been a little bit. I know, but it would still be good. Oh, aye. But take nothing away from you. And hopefully, I win, Cal. Hopefully, you, if, mm-hmm. if we don't win, don't ever go again. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question on you go. I should have looked for one as well, I was... Uh, yeah. well, well, I was talking shit. <laughs> Fergie asks, do you think Ange might pull a fly one with Kyogre and McGregor like he did with Leverkusen, or are we about to suffer McCarthy in the six with Beaton and Gucci out as well? Calm. what about you? Every part of me hopes he is, uh, and every player that gets off the bus goes into the stadium, they're all wrapped right up. You can't see who's out, uh, and then just that team gets released. Uh, you see the likes of Kyogre and McGregor in there, but... <laughs> Part of me's not get a good feeling about it. Mm. I think it's just it, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be McGregor's choice to play or no. Because mm-hmm. I just said he's not putting timelines on players now. Aye. So that essentially says, right, it's up to you and you feel fit enough. Yeah. Kyogo has obviously done that That's the first time round them. Aye. And obviously we get gubbed it, so I'm hoping. Not them. Aye. Wednesday. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping if I, if I had to pick with the two, I'd want McGregor back. Aye. But I mean, I just want to give Kyogo time to actually heal, man, because yeah. the amount of times we've done, a good couple of times we've done this and he ends up injured straight away, let the poor boy get a fucking, get a rest, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fucking rest. I know you want your best players and that, but I mean, surely you need to think long term here. Yeah. You yeah. don't want to rush him back and what Basically happened against St. Johnston and that, so I don't know, I'd let, I'd let, the, poor, let the poor boy get a wee, wee, wee rest. Uh. Feet up. Um, yeah, okay, next question. I had one there and I've lost it. Wait a minute. No. Uh, it's not great. Aiden asks, butter or no butter on your roll? I want to say it says Robert. again. Oh, no. Robert. <laughs> like that. There's butter on this. What, butter or no butter on your roll? Yeah, Our podcast butter. is, I love this because we must be the worst Celtic podcast. There are worse ones in this and I will. Right, so you'll get to them, right? Okay, uh, butter for me. Butter. Mate, fucking, who? I, I don't butter. Mate, I love butter. butter. Fuck, I, I, I prefer it. Only recently you know. I've gotten into Love Pack. Love Pack is phenomenal. More of a Dan Pack, man. No, I know, we get No Pack. You know? <laughs> 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 uh, I know, Pack, yeah, Dan um, Pack, all the packs. Now, I've actually been kind of threatened to ask this question. <laughs> he says he'll be bitterly disappointed if I don't. Oh, but Sean asks, favourite Chris brand and who has the best arse at Celtic? <laughs> Well, we'll start with the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that. Um, uh, we'll start with the ass. Um, I mean, I'm biased, so I'm going to go for Joe. Aye. Tell you what, what's Scott Bain's got some, some cake. <laughs> He's got that, some cake. That, uh, that Twitter account that I don't really like talks about James Forrest. Oh, I, I meant to ask you this after the last... Was it the last podcast that you'd done this? You were talking about an account you don't like or something and I never actually asked you after the show who it was mm, or yeah. what it was. I'll wait till after the show today. I need to find out. <laughs> Scott Bain, I'd, I'd maybe Bain to be fair. I'm not a Bainiac myself, but um, he's got cake. Is he cake? <laughs> he's got cake. I remember we were at the front row at St. Johnston a few a couple of years ago, mind, and right. he was doing his warm-up right in front of us and I was like, ah, dearie me. He got bunda. I mean, I was... <laughs> I don't really recall that. I mean, is that, <laughs> is that, is that a highlight of your day? Right, anybody else got a favourite arse at Celtic? 
I mean, you need to see James Forrest. I know yeah. it's the obvious one, but I mean, no neck, all ass. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to say Forrest, but are you? Uh, I'll back uh, my Swedish man, Starfelt. Starfelt? Yeah. What do you mean, Arsfelt? Where's <laughs> 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 other part? Crisps. Favourite brand of crisps. Tell you what, man, let's see. No, maybe not my favourite, but Golden Wonder, salt and vinegar are actual classics. I'm not a big Golden Wonder man. No, they've done a wee revamp revamp a few years ago and Uh, fully flavoured them. What were you doing before? (laughs) 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 Just half the (laughs) flavour. My favourite crisp brand is probably, uh, if we're talking all flavours into consideration, probably Pringles. No, I'll tell you what my actual favourite is, but uh, Walker's Max Strength Halloween. That's my favourite crisp. it's brand, it's Pringles, Aye. I'd say. But no, fuck that. Uh, do you like Pringles? I like I right, Walkers. I, mean, I, I, I want to see Walkers, but as I Walkers, because because I, I Walkers, Walkers are squares and all that. If it's brand and Walkers, shit. we'll go specifically crisp because that makes more sense to me. I, I agree. Jalapeno, jalapeno, jalapeno cheese, 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 Max, uh, yep, Max Strength yep, Walkers. Yep, that's mm. mine. What about you? No, there's two, but I think that I've got nostalgia because of holidays as well. Aye. They're both ready salted. I like ready salted. I'm, a, I'm quite a plain guy. That's my dad's favourite. Ready salted, you know how you get the big packs in, mm-hmm. in like Spain? Uh, big uh, pack uh, of Lays uh, and a big uh, pack uh, of Palm J- Bears. Jam on Bears. I'm not a big Palm Bears man, they're a bit. Mm-hmm. They're better abroad. Uh, po- no, Palm Bears. Wait, the wee fuckers? The wee, wee fuckers. The wee teddy bears! The wee pack of Rangers fans, aye. No, I used to feel loves a rain, but skips. Oh, aye. Oh, Brown Cocktail's just a banging flavour. Can't wish yours, I didn't ask you. Something like a squares. Something like a squares. That's my house, Chris, you know. I don't, I don't eat squares, man. Oh, well. You're not cutting your gums up, really, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> do, you know what I want? do you know what I want them to bring back? And I feel like it's quite a good sort of homage to Ange. Aye. Do you remember they had uh, the kangaroo f- uh, crisps? Aye. Jumpies? Bring them back. I think I remember them. I remember them. Do, do you know what I loved? It reminds me of Jungle Juice. If you any of ever remember that, you used to get it in a carton. Uh, you always got it in Lidl and that. Oh, banging, man, Jungle Juice. I was waiting, you're going to... Potatoes rant there, like you done that. Oh, like potatoes, Xbox. aye. Oh, yeah. no, it's like, right, I'm going, I'm going to do a test. Have I, even, have I even got my phone beside me? Christ, I, I could be getting phone calls and I don't know. My phone's been there earlier. We were getting a wee bit of stick in the last episode, so being on your phone quite a bit. Did I? Yep, mm-hmm. I remember that. that. I don't bastard. Whoa, <laughs> listen, did you we listen to the ask, show? We won't ask why, <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying that was what was said. Uh, right, I'm going, to, I'm going to put this on the screen and I might be able to get it. So, Tato crisps, right? I want to know. This is a this is character defining. Mean you this haven't is, been speaking since about Friday, isn't it? Right, this, this is character. Oh fuck! I asked. I so boys. I thought that's the reason why you were bringing what, this what, up. To what be do fair. You, I forgot. I asked you. What do you prefer? The man on the left or the man on the right? You know, no, no, the packet. Just the man. Do you prefer? Do you prefer? <laughs> if, this is massive. This this is huge because this huge. is this is, this is character defining. Do you prefer this fellow here on the, on this this side of the screen? I can't zoom in, right? It's like this wee fella here, right? Or mm. or do you prefer? Your man here on the right, at the top. Pure don't care. But you just you've got to pick me a character defining. Do you prefer your man in the left or the right? I can barely fucking see. I'm seeing the left just because he's the one. You're going for the side. left. You're going for the left. I can right. I'll hold it closer, mate. Right? Your man in the left. Hold me closer. Left. Ah, right? left. Oh, left. I'm on a podcast full of northerners. This is your man, your Tato man from the north, and this is your Tato man from the south. I mean. It's character I, mean, I do have a wee bit of a preference for the north. I, 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 I don't care. You've picked the you've picked the 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 the, the loyalist Tato man rather than your Republican friend here on the on the right. He's not get a sash on. <laughs> <my loyalist. laughs> that, that's terrible. Character defining. Your man on the right here. This is your. Aye, that's oh, terrible. Shit, anyway, <laughs> so we can get through these questions. Uh, I we got a bit sidetracked there with the Tato of the north this and the south. Questions. Silly, like, that's the last silly silly one. Like, go. Um, I like a silly question. Nathan. Who I know actually quite personally. Oh, um, how do people, how do people still misspell McGinley as McGinley in the comments all the time? Oh, Sincerely, a McGinley. Now this is my fifteen-year-old uh, brother that's mentioned. I don't <laughs> well, know so why. So you, you do know him quite well. <laughs> <personally>. <laughs> I don't say that. I, that's what I was saying. I said I do know him quite well. I know. I, 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 that's I, how I know. It was a joke, <laughs> mate. It was a joke, mate. Just <laughs> go on. What are you saying? All right, fine. Um, <laughs> there's a reason why people say McGinley, and I think it's because Beans has coined this term. Uh-huh. He saved my name as McGinn Lee and just kept it like that, so it's kind of stuck. And he knows it winds me up a wee bit, so I guess that's why people are doing it. 
Uh, I'm just reminding myself to make an edit to the podcast and in the chat just so I know when I date when I go him. Right, fire through as quickly as uh, possible so we can get to the quiz. I'm doing another silly one actually. Oh, right, go, go. Should Celtic oh, generate that? Cameron asks, should Celtic generate the money required to buy Jota by entering the full body wash market with head and shoulders, knees and toes? Heart being the obvious candidate for celebrity endorsement, of course. I'm 100% in. I'm all in. I'm fully it's not really helped his head of hair, has he, since he got those adverts? I know, he's, he's, he's lost a wee bit, it's fun now. Yeah. Don't you look at my <laughs> hair as you <laughs> say that? Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck off. It doesn't try to be me. like your idol, literally. Uh, what, Stevie? Or Joe Hart? Oh. I thought like I was thinking <laughs> my bald. Fits, I, I was thinking about my bald father. Very yeah, bald, bald, very bald man. Respect. Oh, you can't call him bald. <laughs> Only I can I call can. him bald. Listen. Watch it. Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> um, I, I'm 100%, 100% and anything Joe Hart related, I'm in. Uh, Jake asks, <laughs> that's another one, who should be the captain on Wednesday with Beaton on being suspended and McGregor being out? Decent. Josie boy. No, be Joe. No one agreement, aye. Aye. Big Joe. Uh, do you know what, I've just realised that this isn't good for the quiz because my phone's out there and I need to go and retrieve it. <laughs> if you get, Kirsten asks, if you had to pick player of the year tonight, who's winning it for you and why? If I was pick player of the year tonight? That's a good question. I know. Just good. right now? Aye. Also, I'm going to take this time to apologise for anybody that's been watching the show and you feel like any of us have been outshot or anything at any point. We do apologise for this awkward camera angle that we've had to roll with for the, the remainder. Um, if I had to pick right now... Um, oh... I'll let you you go. I'm going to go and get my phone for the quiz. Uh, I don't know. Because when you've got the options, like Kyogo, Jota, but then you've also got the defensive options, the people that have maybe took a bit of stick with staff out and he's ended up putting good performances in. Carter Vickers, who's been consistent at the back. He was great yesterday as well. Mm -hmm. right. But I feel like that's not the sort of thing that wins you player of the year. I mean, like people want to go for the flash. So I, I don't know. I'll go with Jota, but I just love Jota so much, man. Yeah. See, I, I don't want to come across as just honestly riding the same fucking player all the time <laughs> but uh, I think Joe Hart is a good candidate yeah, he's I think he's up player. there I think Hart might actually ah. be mine he's been my favourite player all season so I think Hart would be mine at this moment in time I'm going to throw a curveball okay the amount of important goals that he scores I think a bad be, but to be fair I think he's a shoe in to be young player of the year yeah. Yeah. no other player was that 20 goal contributions now uh -huh. mm -hmm. phenomenal uh, and Calm yourself. Yeah, uh, Jota and Castor. Jota. Performances just put in was just mm. a joke. By the, the way, I, I, I didn't nah. say it, uh, but I'm loving that Sweden top. Very, yeah, very nice. Much. Very nice <laughs> shirt. Um, I need to get back. I've not bought a top in ages, you know. Obviously, I went for my, my phase of like collecting shirts. So I've no. Every fucking. Every week goes out of shirt. Japan, week. Japan, Japan no tops one. half price. What, that blue one? Yeah, oh. the camel one. Oh, the, the camel one. I thought you meant the anniversary one. I really like that. That's a top. That's nice. But that's nice as well. I wanted that mad Orlando Pirates one. Put it in the chat. I we, uh, me and Stephen got Callum a present for his birthday so last year uh, just a wee side story uh, last year Callum treated me to and, and Stephen to a, a retro Man United shirt love it white and red uh, away shirt from I think it was 1992 maybe I think that's the year um, cracker absolutely love it so I had to get Callum one back so we got my nice uh, what's it Club America Club America, Club America shirt sure it's it, nice Aztecan kind of look um, so I've ha I wish you health wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Kyogo. Me too, by the way. Um, which one of you has the tidiest trim? Not me. Not me. I get mine done once a month and it just I, I don't, the shit. I'll, I'll be offended if it's not me. Oh, you're nice, that nice barn that there. I, I think we had a, a podcast for uh, great, great heads of hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a poor podcast. I know, yeah. Like, yeah. Emily's doing well. He's got the thickness there. I know. Like, it's like he's very suave today. He's got product in that. I've got a wee bit of hairspray, a wee bit of powder. Oh, wee bit of, I've never used the powder. powder. Never used I mean, powder. I don't know. Maybe back in the day, I could have been a wee shout. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but back in no. the day, you used to have a... You used to be flowing, man. You used to be flowing after you. Wow, well, I'm doing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that picture of me that I showed you. Oh, I can't believe your hair. I know. Oh, that mushroom, mushroom kingdom. I cannot believe that it was your hair. Yeah, my hair used to be really long, man. Aye. It's like, see the photo we, we were in Berlin, we, oh, we met Mali 13. Aye. And it's like, That's pure random. random. I know, it's pure <laughs> random, but we met Mali 13 in Berlin. Like, we met, like, it was on a flight. And then we seen him like the next day as well, just starting about, and then Aye. we all got a photo of it. See the photo, yeah. the Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's so funny though, because in my vlog, I'm like, hopefully, I'm a YouTuber like him one day. Here we are. Here we are. How poetic. Maybe I'm mean, not as big as I'm right enough. Here we are. Who'd have thought? Um, not me. I uh, my hair back in the day was piss poor. It's it's not existed, but it was just it was just there. I done yeah. nothing with it. Thank you. 
so side true Bob asks do you think Forrest is finished for me he's lost at least a yard of pace and doesn't look anywhere near the player he was Abada has overtaken him for first pick on that side what's your thoughts on that uh, uh, that's a, a big talking point because I, I'm all for Abada starting off Forrest now I don't think he's quite like done yet I'd say but you seen yesterday he's lost a good bit of pace People annoy me when they say, oh, he takes one player's Merna Bada. Well, you need to start backing that up with some evidence. No, you know, no. Because honestly, see, watching it, it was so frustrating. He gets the ball and he's just... Does that same run all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like he's got... So, it's like a dog it, in the it lead. Doesn't, it doesn't help he's on the left, but he, he was a bit better at time, Castle. Mm-hmm. But even then, like, you need you need a bad... A it looks as though, to right. me, it looks as though he's choking to play in the middle now. Like, he's always coming in. Mm-hmm. Like, always. It's that same it's fucking run where he, he goes right. across the front of the players. But he ain't playing there. Like, he's, he's no, not no, good no. enough I'm to s- play there. I'm still seeing people saying, oh, because he's at a position on the right, he's still my first choice. I'm like, that's your opinion, but I don't know why. Mm. I, I, I don't know I'll if it's true. A few no, but it's like, it's, it's, it's another one that like, he's immune to criticism because of what he's done for Celtic. <laughs> Aye, he doesn't deserve to get like, nah. everybody jumping on his back, but you can acknowledge that he's no amazing. Aye, like, I know. It's, oh, it's just a noise, man. It's like... <laughs> Players, people kind of get criticism because we've Aye. got the result. I'm like, it doesn't work. Aye. Um, He's the darling of, of a certain breed of supporters, I would say. My, my weighing, how I weigh this argument is even when my dad's saying it, I, 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 my dad thinks he's done. My dad thinks my he's dad finished. And my dad summer. loved him. Like, my dad absolutely he, adored Even if you don't look at it as a forest issue, but that. you look at the, the generic situation... The shelf life of wingers, what age is he, 31 yeah, this year? I mean, I know they can keep going, that they don't lose their pace as soon as they hit their 30th birthday, mm. but you can start to see a decline in mm-hmm. the yeah. things that make wingers so good. Yeah. And it's sad to say, but I don't think he should be starting. I think he's done. Yeah, me too. I think he is done. But I'm it's one of the other ones, it's, like it's reactionary. Reactionary, that is. Because he could have a cracking game and a cracking next time. And then we're the yeah, again. But I, I just think he's not got long left as a... As a you know, I think he'll really. always be around this club. Um, I don't. I don't think he's in Angie's long term plans. That's no. the thing as well. Ange doesn't have any time for sentimentality aye. at all. I've um, been through that in the last episode. I say about his old clubs and his previous clubs. There was something I was going to say as well. Uh, Callum, I'm surprised you've not jumped in and the Lambast and Forest stuff. Nah, I've just. <laughs> I ain't never been, been there for years. Never been a fan. <laughs> of. Just he's never took to him. He's been one of the most frustrating players. It's aye. like aye. it's why the ones where he could have got his testimony on that, but. It's why the ones you'd feel bad doing it because people are like, fuck, don't know if I want to go to a uh, uh, James Forrest test money. It sounds sad because it's somebody that's gave so much service to the club and gave so many good moments. But, but like Scott Brown, it's you know? been so hit or miss there certain years. Other seasons, he's been completely unplayable, man. Like, Aye. It's yeah. been a roller coaster yeah, Celtic career. He is a legend. Uh, uh, I think yeah. these appearances mm-hmm. and such alone makes that bit. It's, you know, he can't always just blindly. I know you can you can't just like blindly yeah. fucking support it. I mean obviously you well, support, support the point you support the point. Oh absolutely. But it's like people making it as if criticising them is just Aye, I know. I'll be getting a few telling off One right. thing I, one thing I will say though is he probably should have got an assist. Aye, yes, mm-hmm. he done that chance for O'Reilly. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the grass is looking a bit greener with him. That's he's just a victim of the fact that <laughs> O'Reilly missed a shot that he should have it's yeah. easier. It's easier to score that shot, I would say, than miss it. It miss was it. such a, a mm, clean cut chance. Right, let's fire through. Let's yep. put a number on. Let's go fire through. Four more questions. Ra- ra- rapid, quick fire. John Dalhoun asks, Taylor or Scales versus that mob on Wednesday? Um, I think it'll be Taylor. It will be Taylor, but that game at the weekend doesn't give me confidence for either of them. Hmm. No. Yeah, it's one of those can. Ones. Ah, I think it'll be Taylor. I think it'll be one Taylor. One of those ones ah. you wish that we were in for that Buchanan. <clears throat> ah, I've seen Rene was saying the day that he's not going to be selling tomorrow. So the administrators like confirmed that as well, so that's just basically, that's basically that then. They, they won't sell anyone. Um, Derby, oh. I mean. Because mm-hmm. the administrators actually came out and said that Aye. Not, nobody's leaving. Aye. I hope they stay up by then. So they are. Why is um, my favourite of all time, obviously? God, there's so many questions right. here. Right, just try and rapid pick yeah. some. Uh, t- 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 ones that you like the look of, ones that we've who's, maybe not touched on. Who's with. better, O'Reilly or Christie? Oh, it's too early, early doors, isn't too it? Early, too early. Too early. People aren't trying to like start that, are they? Like already, like Christy being in the door two minutes. Christy right now, obviously as a Celtic player right now, Christy. Two games next. Jay asks, "Is Tam Coates a terrorist?" I know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Aye. Do you know he got exactly what he deserved yesterday? Him and his team because they came to not play football whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And they deserve to get beat for that. Yeah, now, a couple now of they can play some really nice sure. football. Uh, I watched them against Tibbs earlier on the season. Played some really, really nice stuff. Good uh, attacking play. So, 
they're obviously taking it upon themselves to try and make it less of a game against Celtic, and they got exactly what they, they deserved. Uh, they were all right in the midfield, maybe not technically completely, Aye. but like just the way they were better than us in the midfield. Playing yesterday. a back three, and then mm-hmm. the two wing backs as well. Right, one more wing goal. <laughs> Real Messi is the old Ralston back. His glory days seems to be over. I think that was an I awful see, performance. This one yeah, was yes, yes, yeah. awful yesterday. Aye, but wait, that's the reaction of the thing again. Mm. Aye. It's just everything, isn't it? I know. <laughs> it's just when it's going good, it's going great, and then as soon as a couple of bad games. But nah, I mean, I don't know if it's people were getting carried away with Ralston at the start of the season, but nah, I, I don't think. I don't want to come out and say, oh, he's back to his old self and that. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he'll, be, he'll come good again. Aye. But I think Jelanovic has got to be starting every game. Aye. Now. Oh, aye, aye. Right. It's time. It's time. I know you're just can't hear it. You just can't hear it. I am. No, of course not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, Sorry, we're, it's all kind of came full circle in match day number two for a lot of, for two of you today. Kieran and me both already on two games, both on three points as well. No one yet has won two out of two. However, McGinley, you have the chance to make it two out of two today. So Kieran holds one one. You've won one. You've not won one yet, and I've won one. Um, but now they tell me everybody will have played two games after this today. So it's McGinley against Callum Craig and the big four person show quiz. Kieran, I'll keep you in standby. If a question gets answered wrong, I'll allow Kieran to have the first chance to answer it to see if he can get it right, just for a bit of fun, so he's not sitting there doing nothing. Hmm. McGinley, you are undefeated and one out of one right now. Yep. So I will let you choose if you want to go ahead or take or if you want to go first or second. I'll go first this time. You're going first this yep. time. So Callum, you're on for set B. Here we go. Let's try and rattle through this. Uh Callum, uh, sorry, M- uh, McGinley, here we go. Stephen Welsh has already made more appearances this season than Shane Duffy did in the entirety of last season. True or false? I'm going to say true. Not off to a great start because it's only another option. I'm not really getting it. It's false. Uh, what it answer is, do you think it is, it's Kieran? False. <laughs> Kieran, if you want to give a guess on how many... <laughs> true. <laughs> um, Duffy played 25 games last season and so far Stephen Welsh has played 20 this season. So there you go. Uh, a lot of appearances off the bench for Duffy towards the end, weren't there? They came on a few times. Aye, aye. Sure um, right, for a chance to take the lead here, Cam. Uh, ben Doak became the youngest ever Celtic player when he made his debut on Saturday. True or false? False. Correct. Uh, it was true. Uh, second is eight days older than the youngest um, be, uh, Jack Aitchison, mm. who still holds that record. Uh, okay, McGinley, to equalise, who scored the last Derby goal against Rangers before their liquidation? I'll come to Keelan if you get it wrong. Uh, that was the 3 0 game. Yep. Or was it the 3 0 game? Uh, it was mm. the 3 0 game, yep. Not Gary Hooper? Correct, mm-hmm. Gary Hoops. Was absolutely right. Jo- Joe well. Hooper scored. And I know uh, Mulgrew scored the diving heater on that. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'd love right. stuff. So Gary Hooper scored two that day, didn't he? Hmm? Did, did Hooper score two that day? I think so. Aye. Aye. Uh, because in a 3 0 victory, with Mo- and I love how Matthew put in this with Mulgrew scoring that <laughs> diving header. Yeah, Capital when you think Wales. of Mulgrew goals, it's that uh, one. Aye. Aye. That's I'm pretty sure I spoiled that for my dad. Like, see, we were watching it on like, Sky Go or something aye. on the Xbox, and I seen the notification come through on like, BBM or something. <laughs> like, like, everybody talking about it. Aye. And he's like, oh, it's a goal win. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, it's one all, but you can take the lead here again, Calm. Who is the last Celtic player to score against Rangers? Oh fuck. Um El Yunusi. It's not El Yunusi. I would have said El Yunusi It's too. not El Yunusi. I think the one who scored that heater. Who's in the four one game? Yep, four one. Who scored for Celtic that day? Don't know. Edson Odward scored, it was big odds on. Uh, who scored the goal so now we're at one apiece in a level playing field goal. I don't, yeah. don't remember any of the games that yeah. memory, right. right which Celtic player scored both the first and last goal from that 6-2 demolition derby uh, against Rangers back in 2000 was it Chris Sutton correct scored the goal in the first and 90th minute what was that? That was his debut. Sure, it was his it was debut. His, uh, I don't know if it was his oh. debut. I mean, it was his first derby. That was the first no. old firm in my no, lifetime. Aye, um, it wasn't for me. My first one was a loss, I believe. Um, a one 0 loss, I think it may have been. Uh, okay, Callum, to make it two all. Who is the most international caps from our usual back four? So Taylor, Starfelt, Carl Vickers, and Juranovic. Who has the most? Um, oh fuck, Juranovic. 
correct. Juranovic has 15. Um, Cameron Carter Vickers has eight. Taylor with five. And Starfield with four. There you go. So good answer. Is that full cap? Oh, I mean, full cap. You don't get a half cap. Vickers, you said. Carter Vickers, I. He's not represented England. Philly, has he? He's got eight caps for America, yeah. So he Daft has. bastard. <laughs> Jeez, oh. Aye. But he does have an, an English accent. Yes, he does, so. but he's. I'm mean, how ignorant of you. Very I was pure disappointed when I found out it was just like Essex. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, I was waiting for his part. I was honestly a stick on his interview and I was like, I was waiting for Yeah, I'm really, really excited, uh, excited to come up here, you know, score some great goals and so defend goals. really well. Defend them goals, man. Um, you ever watch Ted Lasso? <laughs> <laughs> great programme. Um, but no, when we say South End, I was That's quite disappointed. Really cool, <laughs> um, really right, to all, question four for McGinley. How many players have started against... No, how many players that started against Dundee United have never played in the Glasgow Derby? Right, can I go through them? All right, well, quickly. try and go through as quick as you They've can. Never started? Then. No, th- 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 that started... How many players that started against Dundee United haven't participated in the Glasgow Derby? You have to think. All the starters, aye. Um, I'm tra- I, I can't actually remember the team. Can I not pull up the team from yesterday? No. It's cheap. Do that? <laughs> no. I'm going to put a timer on you. <laughs> when in doubt, throw a number out. Um, Anytime again, let me go to their comments, remind. <laughs> Just a number will do. I'm go for six. Anybody got a guess? Yeah, but when you were going through it there and you were listing the players, like, remember the game at the start of the season? Aye, and so, so five, 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 is the con- five is the correct answer. Uh, the five players being Cameron Carter-Vickers, Liam Scales, uh, <laughs> Matt O'Reilly, Rio Hitati and Georges Giacomakis. There you go. Unlucky. Right, Callum, this is a big opportunity to take the lead here. On your penultimate question, the Glasgow Derby will be Celtic's 24th game in the league. Name Celtic's current number 24. Jesus, why is not he a blank? I fucking hate numbers, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think you know it? Yeah, fuck. Try to go through positions as well. Aye. Jesus, fuck. It's a head scratch all the day these questions. See, huh? see for the next podcast, I'm fucking sitting studying that. That's from Nico, eh? Yeah. That's a tough one to get, to be fair. I'll be impressed if you get this. Have you got it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Time's running out. <laughs> 24. Aye. Is it one like, when... My, my guy's froze, he hasn't moved. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to think, like, he'd still have run a blank. But when you say it, will you go, oh, fuck, or is it one that is actually... No, it's quite difficult, I don't think it's one you will. If you want to just throw it a name, feel free. But you do want to win, probably. He's 20. Nice silent bit of No, it's thing. just annoying, I can't even think. Um, <laughs> I'd have got you. I know he's 20 something. 21. 21, is it? Oh, I know he's so, 20 something. Ryan, what do you think? Johnny Kenny. Johnny Kenny is the correct oh, answer. Sorry, like nah, that. Johnny Kenny is number 24. Previously, nah. it was Jonathan Afolabi. Obviously. So there you go. Right, McGinley, to go up 3 2. Oh my God. On your final question, name four of the nine Celtic players that scored in an old firm match with Tommy Burns as the manager. Tommy Burns? All right. Um, Van Hooydonk Van Hooydonk ranked up three we need another three players Cadet no right but I'm only two aye keep going but I'm not going to yell I'm not letting you go Simon Donnelly no Uh, Elliot no Uh, I'm never going to get this right well you want to get up I'm just trying to think of that era sort of time. De Canio. De Canio, correct. He scored two. So you've got two out of four so far. But I'm only going to give you one more wrong answer. Okay. That's fair enough. Which just means you're going to sit here for about an hour before we get an answer out of you. Well, I'll keep it as to another show. I know, fuck that. Jerry Craney? No. Right, so your options could have been Van Hooydonk, Burn, John Collins, 
Paolo Di Canio, Paul McStay, Andre Tom, uh, Vata, Mackay, and Hughes. So there was your there was your picks, right, Calm? You could become this week's winner. And you can make it all equal between all four of us in the league table, three points apiece. Which Celtic player has made the most sub appearances this season? Who's came off the bench the most? Uh, oh fuck! It's a good question. Mm-hmm. A really good oh, question. Really good Matthew, quiz, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew makes these quizzes. Good, yes. Original quizzes as well, you know. Hope everybody enjoys playing at home. Let's know how you're doing. Hey, oh Christ! I'm trying who's heavily featured or something. Off the bench this season, who has made the most appearances? Abada. It's not Abada. You got a guess, Kim? I was going to say McCarthy. Is he beat on? Mikey Johnston. Mikey Johnson. Mikey Johnson has made fourteen appearances off the bench. Second is McCarthy. Beaton and Monte all on 11 and then after that Rogic 8 and Yakimakis with 7 so there you go Mikey Johnson's made the most which means it's the big tiebreaker question right here we go Uh, it's not a big one this week no it's not you so I'm just going to come to you and I'm going to go to you first as you said higher or lower kind of scenario Uh, what percentage of Celtic Park's capacity is standing seats what percentage So how's a higher or lower works again? You can't be over, but you can be under in it. Aye, you can't go over. Or you lose. Just gonna go for but then I'll put gate to the Five percent. Right, okay. Calm. Seven mm. percent. Well, you're the winner this week and top with six points it's Ryan McGinley the correct answer is 5% 5% 3,000 seats so 60,000 take a 10% of that 6,000 and then you have that hey, get a count get fucking that Tory bastard up with the numbers Rachel Ray, uh, yeah, get her get get her. Uh, bitch. never boo Carol Vorderman she's a Man United fan though but she's still a Weird. Tory cow uh, I know uh, didn't expect that uh, probably a, fast I know uh, probably a few but that's Roger Stewart I suppose he's a She's a Celtic fan, isn't he? <laughs> right, that does it. That's this week's uh, episode of the Celtic Thunder from the obscurest of camera angles. I hope you've been able to see us all okay. You've seen me for a bit. Uh, I know, I, McGinley's probably just been off to the side for the majority of it. We are sorry it did have to come to you like this, but if you're listening anyway, that's all that matters. Uh, thank you, Callum, for coming along. Thanks for having us. Uh, hope you have a good time Wednesday. Oh, I hopefully see you as well for a wee drink or something. Uh, Kieran, I'll see you on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Bright and early. Oh, aye. Aye, that'll be it. I mean, what time are you away for work, Kit? I'm not one. Oh, you have? Oh, 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 I've got to go to air. I'll see you on Wednesday. I'll see you in air. The cam before the storm. That's it, mate. That's um, it. We're off to do our first ever piece of commentary together, um, yeah, which is going to be fun. Um, so basically, me and McGinley have to sit and commentate a game for half an hour. It's basically 20 past one just now when we were recording this. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to get home till about 3 o'clock and no, we're wait. up for uni at nah, we're experts 5 to 10 we'll right. up at 5 to 10 uh, <laughs> just I'll, 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 I'll sleep in through my classes as always <laughs> uh, seems to be the right move but thank you all for listening make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're on Spotify as well make sure to share out the show follow us all that good stuff we'll hopefully be seeing you next time happy after the derby um, but we'll just have to wait and see right cheerio